Hello everyone, and this is the blog of the week. Now, I haven't done a blog in the week in almost three weeks, maybe more. And that's just because of a, a cross between forgetfulness and procrastination, where it would be like, oh shoot, I didn't do a blog of the week, but it's Tuesday. And I'm trying to do those, or at least record them on Saturday. So, and it's just mostly that. It's like, oh, it's Sunday. But I have something due by midnight, so I'll have to put it off. But anyway, no more putting it off. I'm doing my blog of the week right now. So this is September 21st for my blog of the week number three. So as a review, the blog of the week was where I just talk about my personal life. It's uh, just to get used to doing this kind of daily, well not daily, but well, I actually uh, inspired to start the blog of the week to hold myself accountable because I decided to start working more to lose weight. And so it's been an okay progress. Uh, speaking of which, let's just get down to the nitty gritty on that. Uh, I am down to 287 pounds, which is eh, better than nothing, but it's certainly not as much as I've lost in the past where there were times where I was losing like five pounds a week. And this is about three pounds over a four-week period, so eh, better than nothing. But I do have to take responsibility. That's why I started the blog of the week, to hold myself accountable and to weigh myself and make sure I'm doing stuff. So um, uh, the reason why I haven't been making as much progress as I would like is because my weakness has come out. No, it's not Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Those are not in stores, and they're not my weakness. They're delicious, but that's not it. It's something called apple cider donuts. Oh my gosh. When I realized that it's the season of apple cider donuts, um, well, like I said, it's my weakness, so... I can down a, I've downed whole entire boxes of those suckers in a day of eight donuts. They're uh, made by Entenmann's, and they're amazing. But I broke down, and I got the box of donuts. So I got to admit, not my finest hour. But I think one of the things that's helping is I'm doing a lot more work walking around, getting that little bit of exercise, making sure I'm doing something. But, uh, anyway, that's, uh, the thing with my weight loss. It's, it definitely could be worse, but it definitely could be better. But three pounds is better than gaining weight, losing three pounds. So I'm down to 287, by the way. I went from 290 about four weeks ago, down to 287. I'm acknowledging my weaknesses and flaws, but that just means that you know, you've got to acknowledge your strengths and weaknesses. And apple cider donuts from Intamins is a weakness. And so that's something I'm going to have to deal with. The next thing I wanted to mention is just how my schoolwork is going. It's going okay. It's actually, uh, and this is actually an easy part. And I'm kind of worried because I'm worried that everything's going to just start come cascading down uh, in my four classes. Now, uh, None of them are too hard. Uh, I'm doing great in them. It's just the one class with the whole uh, my uh, where I have a group paper. Now group papers are actually supposed to be easy because as a group you're submitting one paper, but my teammates are my teammates are assholes. It's group work. Of course they're assholes. Well, they're not really assholes. They're just terrible at communication. Like, man. It's one of those situations where if I was just doing it by myself, I could be done. In fact, uh, yeah. It's, and like my uh, my other classes, one of my classes for sales, it's like several small projects. So that can be tricky because you have your projects all lined up, but you can't procrastinate on them. You have to make sure you're doing progress. And so if you don't uh, make little bits of progress on them, then you're going to be SOL when it finally becomes due. So discipline. I have already gotten uh, 
one of my projects done already, and then I'm working on another one, and then there's the big one, which is actually not going to be that big of a deal. And then, uh, actually, that's about it on the schoolwork. And then the other thing I want to always talk about is my work in vague terms. Uh, so with my job, where uh, I work in a financial sector, and we are about to get very, very, very busy at work. Uh, mandatory overtime, 80-hour weeks, that sort of thing. And so um, uh, I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to handle it. Well, actually, I do know exactly how I'm going to handle it. How I'm going to handle it is I put in a request for time off for eight weeks. Now, this is personal leave. It's leave without pay, which is no big deal. I am expecting to have leave without pay. For I was actually expected to have leave without pay for six months, but they recently revised it so that it's only eight weeks, which is whatever. I'll take it. And that's just so that I can avoid the worst and busiest time of the year. The worst and busiest time of the year. Like I mentioned, mandatory overtime, 80-hour weeks. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it with my schoolwork at the same time. And the thing is, if they say, no, you cannot have your eight weeks off, that's okay. I am prepared to quit because I just can't take another uh, – this time where of uh, well, and there's just a lot of internal factors that I'm very unhappy with, about with our workplace. Anyway, there's stuff like um, ongoing issues persist for years at a time, and it seems like the more mundane and easier it is to get resolved, the longer it takes to get fixed. Which is kind of uh, like a, there's a situation where uh, let's say a customer calls in and they want to make a payment. Okay, they call us up, we try to make the payment, and then it turns out they like have a duplicate account from 10 years ago or something. Well, the payment gets rejected. And I'm like, why can't they just automatically merge the two accounts? Or better yet, if that's too technologically advanced, why don't you just let us manually merge the accounts and still get the payments? Because the payments um, we have for some of our services and features – we have, I don't want to say quota, but there is a certain percentage we have to do. And I've been doing this for seven years, and it's the same garbage for seven years that doesn't get fixed. Like that problem I just talked about, where you, why don't you just let it do the account merge and still get the payments? But if, like I said, if, they, if there's two accounts, it won't let us do the payment. And I don't think there should be a, a work factor that's literally standing in the way and preventing us from making payments. That's kind of ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous to pretty much everyone. And it's held against us because we're if we don't get those payments and they have to call back or they call someone else to do it, then we don't get that with that whatever. We don't get that bonus. Well not bonus, but and I don't want to say quota because it's not quite a quota, but I'll just say quota for the sake of simplicity. So if we don't hit that quota even though our employer is literally putting in factors that prevent us from doing our jobs, that's kind of ridiculous. And I'm not going to do it during the busiest time of year. I'm just not. So I'm putting my uh, notification for personal leave for eight weeks off. If they deny it, then I am putting in my two weeks notice because I am done. I, or at least I'm prepared to be done. I'm ready to pack up my shit because uh, I work from home. And that's where they get you. When you work from home, it is so, so nice not having to deal with traffic, not having to deal with wet winter weather that's coming up very soon, not having to deal with going into the office. But I'm prepared to not have to deal with that anymore and just not work. I'm prepared for that because, man... I just can't stand the thought of our employer putting in restrictions for us to do our job, but still putting metrics on us. And so there was one other thing. Oh, yeah, this picture you're looking at of this sexy lady. Hello. That, I don't know the name of the uh, cosplay. 
I know the name is out there. I could not for the life of me find it. I actually tried to find it, but I just it just could not be found. Uh, let's see. Oh, the model's name is My and then the letter S, so I guess um, they keep their... Uh, but they're on Instagram. At... Uh, is this her or is this um, the name of a photographer? Anyway, if you do like this cosplayer, you they can be at uh, Instagram at Made in Hell. Oh, never mind. It doesn't tell you where. Well, well Instagram at Made in Hell XO. And that's Made in Hell, like a fair maiden. All one word. And then the letter X and then the letter O. I don't really think that's going to work, but whatever. That's the cosplayer. Oh, no. Oh, and that's right. I'm going to do a um, Vampirella number three review immediately after I'm done updating my blog of the week. And that's just because um, um, I can't I didn't I was going to do my uh, Vampirella review first, but my phone doesn't have enough charge. So I'm um, just charging up my phone as I do this, and then as I do the upload. Uh, that's it. I've lost three pounds. My schoolwork is actually in the doldrums, and it's easy right now. Uh, I am so done with my job that I'm ready to be quit, to quit or get fired. I don't care either way. And I'm going to do my Vampirella review. I'm going to actually uh, start doing more reviews, not just Vampirella, but uh, some of the books that have come in from uh, crowdfunds as well. All right. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.